Hey guys, have you ever wondered what it really takes to start an online business that then grows to start to make you a six figure income? Okay, I know that you can make a few hundred pounds here and there and potentially a few thousand pounds, but have you ever really considered what it might take to go all the way to start to generate six figures? I'm sharing this because for me, it takes a certain exposure to information and an idea for that idea to embed in our mind and for our mindsets to be changed in order for us to pursue a set goal. Today I'm going to share with you exactly what it takes for you to go from starting a side hustle or a side business making you a few hundred pounds or a few thousand pounds potentially to take that all the way to six figures based on our personal experience of running the humble penny, starting from absolute zero and taking it all the way to six figures per year. My hope is that these five tips I'm gonna to share today are gonna to be super actionable in order for you to either start an online business or for you to grow the online business you've got already into something that one day generates six figures for you. Just in case you're wondering why this is even relevant at all in the grand scheme of things when it comes to our journey towards financial independence, our experience is that growing your income not only helps you accelerate that journey towards financial independence, but it also gives you the option to do so much more in life. My name is Ken of the Humble Penny and Financial Joy Academy. What we do on this channel here is to give you guys the tips, the insights, the practical hacks to help you work towards a dream life of financial independence and money joy. A while ago, I made a video called How to Start an Online Business in Seven Days. That video has been super popular. I'm gonna put a link to it below and above. If you're somebody who's new to this whole idea of starting an online business, for you to head over to that video and actually see the various steps you need to take in actually getting started with your own online business. For this video though, I want us to look at actually growing that online business and turning it into something that potentially makes us six figures one day. Let's dive in now and look at these five actionable tips for how to start an online business that grows into a six figure income. Okay, so tip number one is to think like a visionary CEO. By this I mean, to move yourself away from functional thinking. Okay, so you might be working in finance or in marketing or in IT or in sales. These are all various functional bits of a particular business. But to be that person who creates a business that one day starts to make six figures and beyond, you need to start to think as a visionary beyond these functional roles. A really powerful book, is one called E-Myth by Michael Gerber. And he really explains this idea of thinking as a visionary by looking at three different business personalities. So the first one is the technician. And a technician is that person who works in that particular role, doing the work day by day and relying on past information. The next personality is the, is the manager and the manager act on present information, but it achieved their results through people and systems. The third business personality is that of the entrepreneur. That personality is somebody who's focused on looking at how they can bridge the gap between the present, i.e. where they are right now, and the future where they would like to be. This is where the visionary individual comes in. This type three individual is the visionary because they're spending a lot of their time focused on what they are trying to achieve, what exact income goals they're trying to hit, what exact strategy they need to bridge that gap between where they are right now and where they need to be. This third individual, the entrepreneur, the visionary, is exactly who you need to become, whether you are in a normal job today or not, or whether you are somebody who's maybe self-employed and started their own business already. You need to gradually become this person. For me, it took ages to get there in this mindset. It needed to be a mindset shift in how I saw myself, because for many years, I'd historically focused on myself as just somebody who works within a function, within finance. But over time, through personal growth, through learning, through exposing myself to different environments, through various coaching and mentoring, things like that, for my personal growth, I started to believe that I was that person who could think as myself as a CEO. And you, today, even in your current job, in your current environment, you can also begin to practice 
this visionary aspect of the way you see yourself. Simply by taking different steps each day and changing the way you think about the thing that you're working on, thinking a lot more into the future and trying to bridge that gap between where you are today and where you want to be in the future. Okay, so tip number two is to work on the business and not in the business. There's a key difference here. The key question to ask here is, is if I ejected myself from my side hustle or my business, will that side hustle or business continue to generate an income? I want you to really think about that for yourself today, relating to your side hustle or your online business if you've got one already. If the answer is a no to that question, then it means that you are spending most of your time and effort working in the business rather than on the business. Have you ever had a scenario where you've taken a holiday or a break from what you're doing and you've gone away for some time and come back and you've come back to that thing to work on it with new ideas and new approaches to how you might be able to take that thing to the next level? That same thing you've experienced right there in those scenarios is what happens when you're actually able to work on the business rather than in the business itself. It's this ability to eject yourself from your side hustle or online business in, uh, in order to work on it rather than in it sometimes that's necessary for taking that thing to that next level where it will hit six figures one day. There are two key ingredients for helping you to be able to do that, to eject yourself, to work on the business rather than in the business. And I will cover those two specific points on our third tip in a minute. But before I do that, I just want to take a moment to thank the sponsors of today's video. FreshBooks is an all-in-one invoicing and accounting solution for small business owners trying to grow their businesses here in the UK. It's cloud-based and super easy to use and helps you manage your business better by giving you more time to focus on actually running and scaling your business. Invoices are the most important document for getting money in your pocket. They get you paid for the work you've done and the hours you've put in. And on FreshBooks, they're easy to set up and send off. Here's how to get started. Create a new invoice for the client you're billing. Add the services you charge for. Then add any time, expenses, or projects linked to the client. And if you forgot something, you'll see a reminder that it's unbilled. That's it. Send it out and watch the money roll in. And if you only bill by time or projects, you can generate invoices directly from the time tracking page or from within a client project, making it easy to create a new invoice for your work. That's invoicing on FreshBooks, the best way to get paid fast. What I love about FreshBooks is that it gives you the power to run your side hustle or business from anywhere simply by downloading their mobile app on the App Store or on the Google Play Store. Not only can you and I save time by accounting tasks now automated, but we can actually get paid a lot faster by invoices being paid now by direct debit. This helps to lower the operational costs of your side hustle or business. This is the perfect accounting solution if you're a small business owner now taking the steps to grow your business by getting it online, giving pretty much all business dealings are now online. Get two months free when you sign up to FreshBooks today. Check them out in the links below to get started with FreshBooks today. Okay, so tip number three is to outsource effectively. Now, this very point took us absolute ages to get to, but the mindset had to be changed in order for us to see the real value in outsourcing. From our personal experience, there are two really effective ways of outsourcing in order for you to work on the business rather than in the business all the time. So number one is for you to outsource to talented contractors. So here at The Humble Penner, we've actually got a team of five people. So there's me focused on kind of forward looking, content creation, and essentially being a cheerleader in a way for what we do here at The Humble Penner and across all our platforms. Then there's my wife, Mary, who is also uh, a visionary in the business, but focuses a great deal also on our video editing, as well as on our marketing efforts here at The Humble Penny. Then we've got a tech virtual assistant, a general virtual assistant, and then we've got a Pinterest marketing manager. These three individuals I just mentioned are contractors. We've had to outsource a great deal of what we used to do to them in order for us to be able to take the steps and do a lot more of what we love doing and focus 
on where our strengths lie. The second way we achieve outsourcing effectively is to outsource to technology. So we have various pieces of technology that help us run what we're running online for our business without us having to be there necessarily for those things to happen. So good examples are our, our email marketing system, which helps us essentially deliver various email marketing campaigns, as well as various online courses for people to be able to take them all over the world, essentially. Other pieces of technology include our course delivery platform that we use for our online courses and masterclasses at Financial Joy Academy. That particular piece of technology, again, helps us to deliver those premium bits of content in order for various people around the world to enjoy them and take steps forward from the various action plans within our platform. So in order for you to practically take that step today, to start working towards growing your online business to a place where it generates six figures and beyond, I'd love for you to ask yourself today, what can I outsource to other people and to technology and how can I do it within my own budget? This is exactly how you start to get real bang for your buck effectively. So if you're somebody who only has two hours per day to commit to the side hustle or towards their online business, what you find is that those two hours essentially could get turned into six hours or eight hours per day simply by you creating a small budget and using that small budget to effectively outsource various tasks to other people as well as to different bits of technology. Tip number four is to figure out what moves the needle the most in your online business. Okay, this one point alone is so, so important, especially if you're somebody who has very limited time and money, okay? Now, the reason I mentioned this point is that there are so many things that you and I could get up to in order for us to see our side hustles or our online businesses really take off. But if you really hone in on and take that time out to really work on your business rather than in it, you'll be able to figure out that there are probably one or two things that move the needle the most. So for example, here at the Humble Penny, the one thing that moves the needle the most is for us to create authority building content. Okay, so for me to show up here on YouTube, for me to show up on our blog at humblepenny.com, for me to be able to do that and do that periodically, that continues to help us build authority. And by doing that, that introduces what we do to a much wider audience over time. So you can see that it's in my interest for me to perform that one activity. And that one activity gives me a lot of motivation. And I then focus a lot more of my efforts on that one activity because I know it moves the needle the most. So in your side hustle, in your online business, what is that one thing that moves the needle the most? Spend some time thinking about it and trying to identify it. Because the minute you identify it, I'd say double up in terms of time and effort on that one thing, because what you tend to find is, is that there's always an 80-20 rule in operation when it comes to growing your business. You find that there's probably one activity that you might spend, say, 20% of your efforts in order for you to then generate 80% of your results. Identify that and make the point to hone in with your time and resources into that one specific area. And over time, you find yourself generating a return that far exceeds your expectations. Okay, so tip number five is for you to use organic and paid marketing, okay? The key here is to arrive at a decent balance between your organic marketing efforts and your paid marketing efforts. So here at The Humble Penny, we focus exclusively on organic marketing efforts. You know, we create all forms of content, whether it's video-based content here on YouTube and other platforms, or whether it's uh, written content on our blog or across social media and things like that. And the thing I've really found with focusing on organic content marketing is that it helps to really prepare you better for paid marketing in a sense that it offers you the opportunity to build a real genuine relationship with say your, your ideal customer in a way that means that you build trust and they get to understand what products and services you have to offer uh, and how those products and services could help them to solve their problems. What it also does in a really interesting way is that organic content marketing also helps you to test the effectiveness of your marketing before you then put a decent budget behind that to then invest in say paid advertising. By paid advertising, I'm talking about things such as Google ads or Pinterest ads or Instagram ads or Facebook ads or even YouTube ads. 
The right balance of organic marketing and paid marketing will help you essentially deliver a good return on ads, okay? Such that over time, you are not paying too much essentially for you to create a sale within your business, what's often referred to as the cost of acquiring a customer. So it's not costing you too much in order for you to reach and get yourself a new customer compared to the sort of revenue or what's referred to as the lifetime value that you might generate from that person being a customer. This might all sound complicated, but in effect, what you want to focus on over time, if you're moving from that world of maybe starting an online business or running a side hustle to a place where you want to ultimately move that thing onto a six figure income generating business, you really want to focus on making sure that you've got to grips with organic marketing. You've got that visibility over your products or services. And over time, you can then start to invest a bit of money into the likes of paid advertising. If all of that sounded a bit complicated, don't worry at all, because it leads naturally into my last bonus point, which is that in order for you to get to that point where you build a business that generates six figures, there's a need for ongoing learning. So everything I've spoken to you about on this very video has come about by me reaching out to various resources, to various people, for me to essentially up my game and upskill myself in order for him to learn these skills that were necessary to go from creating what was a blog when it started its life to essentially creating now a platform that generates a six-figure income. So do not worry at all if it all sounds a little bit complicated. Just bear in mind that I'm exposing you to this information to gradually change your mindset for you to think a lot bigger. Because over time, if you want to be that person who gives yourself that optionality potentially from your day job, or if you're that person who wants to move from just being self-employed to actually growing an online business that makes six figures, these ideas are necessary for you to understand and begin to implement over time. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I'd really love to hear from you in the comments. You know, do you have the desire to start an online business or to grow an online business that goes on to start to make you six figures one day. Let me know in the comments. And which of those five points I shared today really, really resonated with you? Which of them hit home as the thing you need to do next in order to take your online business or your side hustle to that very next level? Please share in the comments below. If you really enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button because it really helps to encourage a ton more people to engage with our videos. If you're new to our channel, or if you've been watching for some time, do please make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get notified when we publish our videos twice a week, typically on a Tuesday as well as a Thursday. Finally, don't forget to grab that offer of two months free with a sponsor of today's video, which is FreshBooks. I'll put that in the links below, again, for you to get started with FreshBooks today. Okay guys, take care, and I look forward to seeing you again on our next video. As ever, in all things, be thankful and seek joy. Take care, and bye for now.